that moment when you fangirl and a little bit of pee comes out? Well, me too. Holy crap, you're awesome. How to make tasty book crack in one easy to follow recipe. Step one, gather all of the following ingredients. One cup of all the genres, a half a cup of badass heroin, one fourth cup of fun hero, equal parts internal and external conflict, a sprinkling of Kraken, a smidget of minority representation, and a whole buttload of cool universe. Step two, be Mel Jean Brooke. I shit you not, fangirls, I don't give none of the craps of what kind of stories are your jelly jam. Cause the Iron Duke is the end all be all fun in your book sandwich. When I say it's got everything, I do mean that this little doodad has all of the things. History, horror, romance, action, comedy, drama, suspense, tragedy, erotica, adventure, literally all the things. We got smexy times and airships and zombies, mechanically augmented humans and krakens and spider rickshaws. We got seafaring shenanigans, the saving of England, from the bad guys? This list is too legit to quit. If you're not hooked yet, then your hooker's broken. You're still a no-go? Fine! Then know this, my friend. Mina Wentworth is going to make you have a happy attack. Our girl is an inspector detective that society constantly shits all over because she's England's enemy's rape baby. Mina though, she ain't got no time for that. She's way too busy kicking ass and taking down the bad guy's names for some jail time. Then one day, the bad guys drop a dead body on Riss Traherne's doorstep. Riss, the dude that single-handedly saved ye old England from the bad guys and is a big time national hero. The Iron Duke is pretty much just a little dead body figured out murder mystery. Except for the fact that said dead body sends our OTP on a big adventure to stop a weapon of mass ouch from offing all the English citizens with nano agents in their bodies. Oh yeah, sorry, did I forget to mention that this book is steampunk AF? Our invaders roofied England's imported teas and sugars, spiking everyone with nano agents that controlled the F out of everybody using a radio frequency. So the book's plot has our big baddie trying to murder all of the bugged citizens. And if you consider that spoiler talk, then I am sorry. What's not spoiler talk? This awesome good guys on the run adventure story was full of monster fights, assassinations, exploding fortresses, and firebomb ships. Not only did we get that balls to the wall external fun, but we also get some serious doll worthy internal OTP conflict. Riss is a Mr. Hero in Pursuit horny pants, while Mina is an emotionally damaged, but physically, intellectually, and mentally tough badass. Our heroine is the result of a horde rape, so she is unjustly hated by society. Whereas Riss, the nation's hero, is celebrated by that society. So bam, that's your romantic conflict. Our two leads rock with their awesome kickassery. But the Iron Duke also rocks because that representation though. Not only is Mina technically a POC character because of her Asian ethnicity, but Yasmin, another cool chick, is also not whitey Miss Whiteness. Also, spoiler alert, I really, really, really like Yasmin. Like, a lot. She's this swashbuckling airship pirate queen who I kind of picture a lot like Isabella from Dragon Age 2. She's cool and funny as all hell and I want to take her out for a hamburger. It's worse than I thought. Not just the horde, not just the police. You know, keeping company with someone who has principles. <laughs> I love her. Then there's Scarsdale, a comedic, soft-hearted puppy who is how you give representation to the LGBT community. You write characters that happen to be gay. You don't just write gay characters. Thank God Mel Jean Brooke did not just write gay characters. So Scarsdale, Yasmin, Mina, and Riss. The book is mostly those four badasses running amok and being amazing doing plot stuff. The story is fun and rich and nuanced and heart pounding and sexy and so damn good. Now go away and read it. Cause I got shiznit, I gotta spoil. Wait, I already did. What with that whole big conflict reveal. But you know what? I regret nothing. Because even knowing about that big brouhaha, there's still so much more to this universe. I mean, there's my epic girl crush on Nina because holy damn that girl is awesome. God I adore her because she's so cool. Have I mentioned how cool she is? Because oh my god she's cool. Dead people of all sorts are more tolerable than most of the living. I love 
her. Mina is a legit badass. She investigates murders, dissects dead bodies, shoots zombies, fights genetically augmented cat monsters, and even rescues the hero in distress aboard his USS ship is in peril. Mina jumps from an airship to hang suspended over an ocean filled with water she totally doesn't know how to swim in to shoot the eye of a kraken that's got its big monster tentacles wrapped around her boyfriend's boat. <gasps> That's awesome! She's sassy and witty and she makes the perfect part one of this OTP. The plotting of the Iron Duke is rock solid, the pacing is magic, the characters are purr. Okay, I'll slow my roll. The truth is, this book does have one itty bitty tiny flaw. And that's Riss. Stow the plague infested rotten tomatoes and put your hate on ice for a second. Because I do love our alpha hero crammed into a beta personality. Our pirate dude is legit hilarious. You just come from Parliament? Mm, how are you finding that? It's much like piracy. You tell your enemies that if they don't fall in line, you'll leave them to die. <laughs> See? Funny. Our pirate dude is also legit legit. He never manipulates Mina, despite the many opportunities he has to do so. Even when she does shit that makes Riss side ire, he keeps his respect goggles on fleek. His jaw tightened. How could he tell her what not to be? She wasn't part of his crew to be ordered around, and he hadn't been there to stop her, to protect her. Short of chaining her down, he had to accept this. How could he accept it? When she risked her life, she stole his. Oh, I love him! But despite my love, Riss's backstory isn't very fleshed out. We as the reader are only given peeks and winks into his past. Mina's storyline is given more attention, and I'm totally okay with that. But it would have been nice to get a more dynamic look at what makes our boy tick. I'll kiss you until we can't breathe. I'll strip you naked and taste every inch of you. Then I'll shag you until neither of us can see straight. <laughs> well, with dialogue like that coming out of the man's face hole, my thirsty ass is obligated to give him a pass. Or twelve, and my panties. <gasps> This book is literally everything. I'm word vomiting about the characters and the emotional plots and the internal conflicts because those are the things that stand out to me the most. But the novel spends just as much time crafting a smart action adventure story, one that takes us to cool settings with monsters and battles and epic fights and all of the fun times. Throw in some smoking hot bow chicka wow wow boinkin time, some dramatic character growth for both of the leads, and a climax that wraps up both the internal and external conflict simultaneously and yep, fangirling. All of the fangirling. <laughs> oh, whoops, I think a little bit of pee just came out again. The amount of times I've spilled water while enacting this freaking review, like I swear to God, three times. It's ironic because like the joke that I peed myself, haha, -ha, and now I'm literally covered in water. I couldn't have planned it better myself. I'm a walking catastrophe. But you know what's not a walking catastrophe? That was a terrible freaking joke. But no, seriously, this book is amazing. It was physically, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally painful to put it down whenever I had to like, you know, go do life. I can't recommend it enough to everybody. I don't care what your crack is. I don't care if you like romance or not romance. If you like action and you think you don't like steampunk or you think you like mysteries and suspense, but you don't think you're gonna like whatever else I can come up with off the top of my head and I can't, but the point is you need to read the book. And excuse me, I gotta go clean myself. I literally made a mess while fangirling. It's a story of my life, I guess. <laughs>